best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan, I seen that. Is this not? <laughs> oh, that picture of me. There we go. Okay. I think people can hear us. Hopefully. Um, Hi. <laughs> so this is our first attempt at live streaming the podcast. It uh, is probably not going to go great. And uh, this may all be uh, useless because I don't know how well it's recording right now. But we figured we'd give it a shot. Uh, we are talking about saving Christmas. It'd be really funny if no one is hearing my audio and it's just you talking to yourself with a picture of a little child. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what people thought when. Uh, so this this has gone up already. This your picture has gone up before on uh, which episode was it? Uh, the Roseanne episode. It's me and you. Uh, oh, nice. But I assume, I, I don't know, I guess, I don't know what people think if that they think it's just a random picture. Like, the picture is so ridiculous. Like, oh, that must have been his friend who died when he was a kid <laughs> and he's doing this podcast. Talking to him. The picture is so ridiculous, it it doesn't seem like it could be you. Like, it seems so crazy. To me, at least. I don't know. But oh, no, that's... It definitely seems like it could be me. That's definitely you. What What was going on in that picture? That was when my mom forced me to do tap dancing uh, against my will by basically saying that if I didn't do tap dancing, then I wouldn't be able to play baseball. Ooh. So it's really a testament to my love for baseball that I was would be willing to do tap dancing. Yeah. Did, uh, did the tap dancing help your ability to play baseball? Oh, man, it did. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I lost – Last month, uh, by one yeah. by one vote again, That's I've, all it takes. I've lost so many times by just like a single vote or two votes, and uh, so if you don't know, I, I have like twenty votes stocked up, but I intentionally make you lose by one <laughs> every time. If you don't know the way the votes work, it's over on Patreon, and for a dollar you can vote for Taylor or I. For some reason. More people have voted for Taylor the last few months. I've had to pay the punishments over and over. And last month, Taylor chose Saving Christmas. Kurt Cameron's... I think I think the reason this is so hard for you is because growing up, you always just assumed everybody liked you more. And now you're finally realizing that that's not the case. No, I, I still think people like me more than you. Prove it. <laughs> I'm trying, but no one, no one seems to like me more. Not enough people, at least. Exactly. But exactly, the people, my point. the people who matter, vote for me. Is basically what it's come down to. So more people, I have more people that matter. I would say me. I have more people who know us both that have voted for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that one. That's probably true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you made me watch Saving Christmas. Have you seen it? Oh, no, no, no. Did you watch the video I made on it? Not yet. You're a terrible person. It is horrible. I yeah. was shocked how much I hated that movie. I figured it would be really bad just because we've talked about Kirk Cameron before. And although I'm sure he's a very, very nice person, <laughs> and I think he has the best of intentions, he has the most punch face in the whole world yeah i've never understood your desire to punch kurt cameron in the face i'm not saying i want to punch him in the face i'm just saying his face makes me want to punch him that's I'm not, it i'm not saying i want to punch him in the face but when i see him i want to punch him you see how dumb you sound i don't want to punch him in the face because of because of anything that he's ever done uh -huh. other than have his face yeah but you still want to punch him you can't say, I don't want to punch him, and then yes, say, I, I want to punch him. You see how that doesn't I'd like work. to go on the record and say, yes, I'd like to punch Kirk Cameron in the face. <laughs> um, so let me let me break down the plot for you of this movie. It is all – it all it takes place all at one house party. Okay. 
you look at the the DVD box art, and he's like, oh, "That's that face. That is that face." <laughs> jumping in this action pose, and there's like an explosion behind him, I think, and like it's real dynamic. Like there's a lot going on in that picture. He's swinging a candy cane. None of that stuff is happens. That that picture reflects zero percent of this movie. Oh, so it's even worse than I thought. It's way worse than you thought. So it all takes place at one house party. Well, <laughs> the uh, the beginning opens up with Kirk Cameron sitting in a chair with uh, Christmas decorations all around. The tree, there's a fireplace, there's stockings, he's got hot chocolate. And he starts off by saying, I love Christmas. I love the Christmas tree. I love the stockings. I love the fire. I love hot chocolate. And But... He names probably 20 things, and he's just just looking around. I love the lights. I love it, – it is just ridiculous. I love lamp. <laughs> yeah, and he is talking about uh, people – there's people in the world who – well, there's two, there's two types of people who don't like uh, Christmas. There's some people who just disagree with you know Christianity or whatever. But then there's people who are Christians who have a problem with Christmas that they, in his words, have drank the Kool-Aid of this propaganda of, against Christmas. And they think, oh, Santa is a distraction and all the Christmas trees and all the all all the, the things about Christmas are not really about Christmas. And uh, mm. <laughs> he he basically he actually it sounds riveting. <laughs> he actually says a lot of the things that I think about Christmas about. So I, I fell into group two. I uh, I don't really like Christmas. I think what Christmas has become is kind of goofy, and the uh, the aggressive stance people hold about needing to love Christmas is kind of a put off, anyways. Um, but he, so he names out all this stuff that I have a problem with, with Christmas, but he doesn't say anything at this point. He's gonna, they're saving that. They're saving the rebuttal to all these points. They're saving for, Christmas. <laughs> for, for later. And so it. it starts with this party and it has the most ridiculous characters. Uh, there's one guy who everything he says is a scripture joke. Like there's there's one part where one of the characters runs through a bunch of people and that that character who's always making jokes about scripture says, "Oh no, part the Red Sea." And all the people spread out. Wow, so he's like a youth pastor. But worse, way worse. <laughs> he's like a youth pastor who sits down and writes everything out. You know what I'm saying? Like oh. there's there's youth pastors who will make dad jokes Mm -hmm. but they're off the cuff right this guy is prepared yeah and he uh, had these yeah okay then there's another character who is a conspiracy theorist this this was the most offensive part (laughs) to me he lays out all these conspiracies about a war on christmas and how you know there's all this stuff going on there's fluoride in the water giving people asperger's and I don't even remember oh, all the stuff he says, but he goes, you know what we need to do, right? And the other character's like, what? He's like, the only thing we can do. And then it cuts. They never come back to what the only thing they can do is. <laughs> at the very... I thought it was, it was, <laughs> at the, after the credits roll... Just drink the fluoride. <laughs> yeah, after the credits roll, they go back to that clip, and the next thing he says is, call Kirk Cameron. And we'll make a movie, and we'll start a movement, and then they start beatboxing and rapping, and oh jeez, are you serious? It, it's terrible, but they they left in. Oh. We have to do something, and we can only. There's only one thing we can do, but in the narrative of the movie, they never say what that is, or they never tie that up. It's just a this world. Uh, in, if something happens in this life, and literally the only one thing we can do is call Kurt Cameron. The, <laughs> And we are truly lost. <laughs> um, so that that happens. I was annoying. Then there's a five minute dance scene 
where uh okay what kind of dancing are we talking about? like step dancing is that what it's called like stomp the yard style but white people are doing it Ugh. so step the yard okay step the yard uh and it's to this i think that's called tap dancing <laughs> it's to this christian um almost dubstep song and it is uh, it is terrible. It is so bad, and I think the uh, the dancers tried really hard, but they were out of sync a lot. And I was just like, why? <laughs> <laughs> why is this happening? Because um, you can you can do this multiple, almost makes me want to watch this movie. You can do multiple takes. You know, you don't have to only take. We don't got to get it in one, guys. Although we've got the the set for the day. I think maybe that might be true. Uh, except it was probably they had Kurt Cameron for a day or a day or two. Like, like we gotta, we gotta because go. He's in high <laughs> um, cause this was, this was put on by Liberty, the school in Philadelphia. The movie, the movie was made. This by is that. a school production. Yeah, I think so. It's, they're definitely a part of it. I don't then know. How did they even land a lister Kurt Cameron? I don't know. He's a good guy, I guess. But anyway, so there's one oh, yeah. character who is the bad guy, and he's grumpy. He doesn't like Christmas. Is he, is he an atheist? No, he's a Christian, but he doesn't like Christmas. And he's he's so, sitting. So, so far, it sounds like it's, it's the you character. Yeah, pretty much. He's okay. sitting there. And he's like just grumpy. People are coming up talking to him and he gets annoyed. So he goes out and sits in his car. And (laughs) so Kurt Cameron comes out and talks to him. He's like, hey, what's going on? And the guy gives this long speech about, you know, I just I don't get it. I feel like Christmas has lost its way. People don't even know why they're celebrating it anymore. It's all about presents and all this stuff. And then he tells a story about seeing this little three year old girl with her mom who is just having a temper tantrum. Tell me it's the Christmas shoes story. (laughs) No, who is having a a temper tantrum uh, while they're at the mall. And he's like, clearly the mom had just bought her gifts, but she didn't give her what she wanted. And so she was just throwing a tantrum and I was just sick and whatever. And it's just like, no, little kids just throw tantrums. It doesn't, that has nothing to do with Christmas. That's not about the kid being greedy or, you know, a jerk. That's just they will your life. Yeah, every any time I've taken my kids somewhere, about half half the time I guess, they one of them has thrown a tantrum. Yep. Um. But so he lays all this stuff out, and Kirk Cameron is like, "All right, well let's let let's think about this." Oh, so the guy says that oh the nativity scene. It's always the smallest decoration, and it's always tucked away in the corner. And if baby Jesus is the reason for Christmas, why is he so small when it comes to the decorations? And Kirk Hammer's like, you know, let's let's talk about. Are, they're expensive. What's that? I said because those sets are expensive. <laughs> those little Jesuses, the yeah. thing's gonna be like bucks. You know, I'm gonna pay for a big old one. Um, Come on, get real. And so Kirk Cameron goes, you know, let's talk about the nativity scene. You probably think it's really important, right? And you're correct. And that was basically <laughs> his his reasoning. That was his rebuttal. I hope to, that's his argument for everything. Uh, it's basically. <laughs> and then he goes and talks about how Jesus was wrapped in swaddling cloths. And mm. the guy's like, oh, I never thought about the cloths. And I was just like, what? What? Why? What? How is that even? What What does that have to do with anything you've said before? Why did that change your mind about people losing sight of Jesus in Christmas? Yeah, what is that? What? What? It doesn't make okay. any sense. It, it was insane. Uh, then he tells a story about St. Nicholas who went and beat up this bishop who was 
trying to get rid of Jesus or saying that Jesus wasn't God's son. And so St. Nicholas went and beat Is him up. Is that true? That there was a bishop doing that? Is it Was that a real story? I mean, according to the movie, I have no idea. It probably. Okay, so so no then. Got it. <laughs> I think it's true. I, I don't think they would tell a fake story as the truth. Um, but, again, it, it didn't serve any point. Because the issue with Santa Claus when it comes to Christmas and then Jesus is Santa Claus doesn't exist. Santa Claus doesn't actually Spoiler alert, little children who are listening oh, no. to this. Uh, Santa Claus can't actually fly reindeer and come down your chimney and leave gifts, and he doesn't work with a bunch of elves. None of that stuff has anything to do with Jesus. But Kirk Cameron tells a story about St. Nicholas punching a guy, and then he's like, see, now that you know who the real Santa Claus is, wouldn't you want to take a picture with him? And it's like, wait, what? Wait, so he's trying to say that the Santa is the mall is the, in fact, same Santa who I guess. punched Bishop? I think so. All Santas in the mall or oh. that one? It, it was idiotic. And uh, very offensive. And not. it wasn't even fun to watch. It was terrible. There was no point. There was no... It, uh, <laughs> it was... I was... If you watch the video I made of oh, it, oh, this is great! I, I just shut down. I like had nothing <laughs> left. I was like, I, 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 I can't even. And uh, it was, it was tough. It was, it was a really bad part. I hope you're happy, Kirk Cameron. Cause I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, so good, good choice on punishments. Uh, I'm not a fan, but you know that's all right. So, so was him saving Chris? In this guy's opinion, that's him saving Christmas. What's that? You dropped out. Sorry. So the him saving Christmas is it just changing in that guy's opinion, and that's it? Just the one guy's opinion. But the idea, the idea of the whole movie was a a letter to everyone who doesn't like Christmas. So you you show this movie to people who don't like Christmas, and their minds will be convinced as well. Was your mind convinced? No, it was. Do you feel worse about Christmas? Yeah, a little bit, honestly. I way to go, Cameron. <laughs> I uh, one of the things that I, I really dislike, and I've said it already in this, and I've said it in the, the original video, but I, I don't like the aggressiveness people have towards making people like how important it is to other people for someone to like Christmas. Like people get yeah. annoyed if I say I don't like Christmas. I'm, like, I'm not. I, there's, I I sh- my dislike of Christmas shouldn't be uh, hindering you to enjoy it. I have no issue with people enjoying it. I'm yeah, not, it's. It, I I know what you mean. I would it's get the, it the, the same way when I tell people I don't like their birthdays. <laughs> like it's you can s- still enjoy it. I just don't care. <laughs> I I feel like that's a little bit more except personal. for Jesus's birthday. <laughs> except for Jesus's birthday, that, of course. That feels a little more personal of uh, an attack. Whereas if I it's say the same concept, uh, it's close. I see what you're saying. But if someone, if you just went up to someone like, Hey, I don't like your birthday. That feels way more personal than, Hey, I don't like Christmas or Valentine's I Day. I don't just or... say it. I say it when I tell them that I'm not coming to their party. So that they know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely more offensive that way. Um, but like I was saying with Christmas, I, I don't care when people like it. I, I'm happy for them. I, great. I don't really – I don't think that I'm, like, sulky about Christmas. I don't think I'm grumpy or bitter or, like, a Scrooge about it. So if I say yeah, – You I don't, just wake up and say, let's get this over with. Yeah, let's let's wrap this up. Um, <laughs> so when people That's get Christmas annoyed with fun. me and act like I'm a bad person for not liking it, it's frustrating for me. And that's because what, there's so many other reasons to – like you that shouldn't have to be the one <laughs> yeah there's a lot of other reasons to dislike me more than me disliking like, christmas like good ones yeah the your audio connection is awful right now i don't know well i mean i blame you yeah you i think it's set up <laughs> um but so yeah so what i was saying was 
when people are this movie was very aggressive in that way about like you have to like Christmas or you're a jerk to your wife. You need to apologize for not liking Christmas. You are. Oh, he, he said you are terrorizing your family with your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> terrorizing your family. Yeah. You're a Christmas terrorist. He had a very low bar for terrorism, I think. So, oh, jeez. Hmm. <laughs> that's that's great. I, I think I'm going to watch this movie, actually. You should do it. You'll hate yourself. Oh, man. I think I probably will. Uh, that's okay. I I honestly didn't enjoy any of it. It wasn't even, like, so bad it's fun. It was just so bad. Oh, I had hoped that you wouldn't enjoy any piece of it. <laughs> um, But... You haven't seen Solo yet, have you? No, not yet. What's wrong with you? At this point, I don't even know when it's going to happen. Yeah. We uh, we talked last week, and I was saying that I, I didn't think I was going to see it, and then I saw it the next day. Um, So we were going to go see it uh, yesterday or the day before, and then we thought about it, and we're just like, no. And then so that's kind of where we're at. All right, good story. I I know I'll see it. I'll probably end up just going to see it by myself. Yeah. Or maybe I don't know. I I just don't have any desire to see it, and I feel bad almost, but not that bad because they just need to make a better product. Yeah, it's not very good. If you can't get, if you can't get me excited for it, that's on you. It's not very good, but it is building to something. You you may yeah. like the ending. And be excited about the next movie. Is it? Does it imply? Eh, well, no. Don't tell me. I'll just. I'll go see at some point. Why? So they're making a trilogy. I think he's in. He's signed up for two more movies. But I. Oh. I, I don't know if that's gonna be the Boba Fett movie and the Obi Wan movie, or if there's gonna be a Han Solo trilogy. Oh, that sounds like way too much Han Solo. Yeah. But I think if it's just the Boba Fett Obi Wan movie, it'll be a lot better. Okay, I'm on board for that. Um, oh, but there's what just you... so much Star Wars coming. It's, if you had exhausting. to guess what happened in the movie, what do you think happened? Uh, if I had to guess, I would say he starts out as this eager guy wanting to help or make a difference. And somehow he knows Daenerys from Game of Thrones, and they're in love, and then she dies, and so he becomes bitter and cynical, and then that's the end of the movie. Uh, You are so literally correct. Not literally. Littlely. Little? Smally? Literally. Smally, yes. You're very smally correct. Uh, Got it. There's a lot more that happens than just that. Oh, I figured it was more than a 10-minute movie, <laughs> but thank you. Um, it, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, – hmm, I don't, don't want to okay. spoil it for you, but I, I kind of want to do – want to spoil it for you at the same time. Do not do it. So, Is there any good cameos? Uh, it depends – it depends. Okay. There is. There, you don't I, I'll cameo. tell you. There is a big cameo. Is it Han Solo? <laughs> Han Solo is in this movie. Okay. I thought he might be. Uh, but there is one that I don't think anyone expected. Harrison Ford. Nope. Lando Carrillo. Car, that other guy. Cal Rizian. Cal Rizian. I can. I always want to say Carl Rizian. He is also in this movie, but it's. Not the original guy. I didn't. I didn't think he did a great job. I mean, he did a really good job at what he was doing, but I didn't like his character in this. Well, I don't think Lando's a good character at all, anyways. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, he was hardly in it before, so it's kind of hard to tell. But he's definitely not my favorite character. From from what little I've seen of him, I think this guy's a jerk. I don't think he should be around. There is a social justice robot. Warrior robot. Oh, jeez. That was, that was bad. 
I'm I'm really tired of these uh, sassy robots. Yeah, just give us the R two D two beepers. The beepers. You know well, the ones that just beep. You're attacking my face. What? <laughs> my phone hit me in the head. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you should see it so we can talk about it. But it's it's not very good. I'll, I'll I was, see it. I wasn't disappointed because my expectations were so low. Um, but <laughs> were they on solo? <laughs> I honestly didn't mean to say it that time. I've said that before a few <laughs> times, but I, I I didn't mean to say it, and then I heard myself say it, and I was like, oh, that was bad. Um, nice. No, but my expectations were really low, and they when I when I finished the movie, I was just kind of like, you know what, this is this is whatever. It's it's what I expect from Star Wars movies. Like, yeah, I'm just kind of like, yeah, that was okay. The the I, I heard this theory, which was interesting, uh, but terrible to look at. Was they start the movie off? And it's basically black and white. Then it goes to um, it, it like from the beginning to end. It's going through the 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 pro- progression of film. So like uh-huh. t- taking pictures. So it starts black and white, and then it goes to that, like that brown brownish color, and then it just keeps uh, progressing until it gets to real vibrant colors at the end. Right. Uh, but the beginning of the movie looks terrible. It's not yeah. not any fun to look at. But. Well, that sounds awful. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, anything else about Solo that you want to add, Taylor? I have nothing to add to Solo. We uh we will be back. We're about to so we're about to record our uh, Molly's game episode. If you're watching on the live stream, uh. And uh, we will be back. <laughs> Sorry. <Bye. laughs> I had a spider on my microphone. Um, we. Uh, what is coming out this week? I just uploaded it. I don't know. You're the IT guy. I'm the IT guy. You're the tech. I don't know. Something's coming out. We'll be back in a couple days with our next episode. Um, Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And uh, Taylor, anything else? That's all from me.